when you have a repetitive tasks in Excel, the no-brainer thing to do is to automate all of those tasks and we, we can achieve that using Excel macros. Of course, we can use Python scripts, but the most basic and the most widely used option is using macros. And in this video, we are going to focus on macros. We are going to do that by recording a macro. That's actually the easiest way of doing it. So you can create macros using Visual Basics or you can just record. That's one of the easiest and actually even if you are a pro or a, or a beginner, you can find it very useful. It saves a lot of time, although you have to go back and clean up some of the codes so that it becomes accommodative of the future tasks. So for you to record macros and use them, you'll have to enable developer option. By default, it's usually not there. If you don't have this developer option, you click on file, then you go to option and then click on customize ribbon and then you check on developer then you click on okay so that's not enough for you to run macros you'll have to enable macros in trust center so you click on trust center then trust center setting then you enable vba macros and uh, you're good to go you click on okay so for today's demonstration we have fictional data here uh, we have uh, the name this is uh, the age the country they come from and this is the country code so what i'm planning to do is to separate uh, these numbers from the first name and the second name so i'll have one two three columns and then i'll have another column for the age and the country and the country code and then on top here i want to have a header which will tell us exactly what the column is about and because today we are not going to create macros by typing we just want to want to record what you do is you you click on record macros and then you're going to input a name so you click on across then let's say this is excel automate so on the shortcut key i want to control a for automate so once i click on control shift a then the macro that you're going to record today should run and then we can store the macro in this workbook we can decide to create a new workbook and uh, store the macros there but uh, we are interested in the workbook that you have currently so we can put some description which will tell the user what the macro will be able to achieve so once we, we are done doing that we click on ok from now going forward as you can see here it, it turned from record macros to stop recording it means that it's in recording mode so any mouse click we are going to do right now it will be recorded into the code that will be generated later once we stop recording so the first thing i want to do is to split the names these names the numbers should go to a particular column and the name as the first name and then the second name so that's the first thing that you are going to do and as you remember from a, a shot i created a while back there's a shortcut we can use to do that so what you do you highlight your data then you go to data and then you click text to columns and then you have a delimited text you click on next and then the first name and the second name are separated using a hyphen in others we're going to put a hyphen as you can see there we want to change the destination to around this point and uh, boom you have everything now working so we we have split everything now so you have three columns and now the next thing is to copy these other particulars here remember everything is being uh, watched and uh, recorded so you're going to copy other particulars control copy and then you're going to paste values only so we have age there we have the country and the country code at least now we have clean data then what i'm going to do is we have all this data here we are going to copy everything now because we believe now we have clean data with us i'm going to copy we create a new sheet i want to only paste values and now we have that now name our header like for example this is the number the second one is a first name second name and then we have the age we have the country we have the country code and then maybe i want to Want to fill that that one there and then put borders 
maybe put a thick outside border I want to resize the size of our columns we are done now recording our macros you don't want to do anything else because now that's the point where we want our data cleaned up to so once i click on stop recording then our macro will be saved if you want to see the macros then you click on macros you have your macros here with the name that you saved it with you can decide to run or edit once you click on edit let's see what we have you can see everything that we did every mouse click that we did you have seen what we've done we recorded the macros and you have seen the codes that we have generated of course we can go and clean it up but uh, that will be for another day we can test whether the macros is working for us so what you're going to do is we're going to delete the whole of this table then we delete the sheet yes we want it deleted now we have only one sheet with the data that we have here of course we can have other names apart from these ones because now we have the formula to extract everything so if i want to run the code i click on a developer then i go to macros if we decide to put another macro they will all list themselves here so you will just select the one we want and then we click on run we have everything now you can see now everything as we did you go to our second sheet you can see exactly what we did let's try with some other names can even delete this one yeah stop complaining okay now we have different names of course we can change uh, the particulars depending with whatever we got from our database and we can just go to developer then we click on macros and then we select our macros we click on run we have that everything look magic okay it's not magic <laughs> when it comes to computers nothing much is magic so as you can see our code is running quite well so in this case i want to give you a bonus i want to create a button somewhere for example here which we can be able to use in the future instead of uh, clicking on a developer then going to macros and then selecting our macros we can just decide to put a button here so that we can just only click on that button and everything else will be done let's first of all delete everything so that we will know when it's working and when it's not we remain only with the raw data so right now we have the data and then we have the code in the background but then we want to create a button here go to insert and then look for the shape that you are interested in for example i want this rounded corners and i want it to be somewhere yeah i want just somewhere away from um, our working space i can decide to put whichever color i want maybe black blue is better let's put a text box so here what i want is uh, clean the data i want to change the color of the fonts to let's say white so i think uh, we are almost good now we have a button what we want to do is now to link this button to our macros so you right click on it and then you click on uh, assign macros and then you select from the list of the macros that you have now in our excel we have only that click on ok our button is now linked which means if we click on it then it's going to run our macros this uh, worksheet that we have now will now act as a template once maybe you want to manipulate data with the command we paste it here and then we clean it but uh, this is fun you click on a uh, clean data and uh, our code is done doing all those so i hope I, I was helpful enough i gave you something so give something back by liking the video hmm.